Man, these things are fun. Stick around, we're gonna give you the pros and cons of our electric bikes. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Kevin. I'm Dan. And together we're Compass Roads, here today to do a review of what? The new electric XP e-bikes that we got. The 2.0. 2 .0 yeah. Version, which you can see on that side of Dan. We have both of them over there. We opted to get the same color because neither one of us wanted white. Um, we did not get the step through model. No. Um, because I didn't want it and he didn't want it. So we're spending our money because this is not sponsored by electric. This is strictly all our doing, our money. Yep. So we want to give a honest review. So I'm gonna let you start it off, Dan. Well, we've had these bikes for about two months now. We got them um, after the Labor Day sale. Yes. And we did get take advantage of the Labor Day sale offer that they had. And we will tell you about the sale they have coming up right now, probably just through Black Friday. Uh, yeah, it, what is it? It's for $949, you get the bike, the battery, and four premium accessories. Four premium accessories. That's a hell of a deal. Yep. When we bought them, we got the two bikes for $999 each, free shipping, but no accessories. So uh, electric is constantly having sales throughout the year. So you might want to just check if you're not eager to get one right now, you might just want to get on their, their email list. So they'll text you anytime they have a new sale coming along. Like he said, we ordered them a week later, we got them. They came pretty fast. Matter of fact, we were staying in this campground uh back in september getting part of september and they came in a week later actually they shipped together but one came in on a friday and the other one came in on a monday which wasn't that bad uh we ordered the comfort package it came in what another week a week later and the same thing in. happened as what one seat came in the other seat came in like a day later um the baskets that we ordered still have not came in and we only ordered one set of baskets for one bike because we've also been looking at different alternatives to accessories to the bikes. So yes, yeah, so I think for the bike that I'm going to be riding, I think I have some stuff in mind that I want to put on it that are kind of related to what he already ordered from Electric. And then we're going to do a comparison. So we're going to do a follow up video. But let's get into the nitty gritty. First and foremost, these bikes are insanely fun. They are really fun. In fact, I think the the one place, even though we tried it out at the campground that we were at when we received them, the the most fun we had was in Branson, Missouri. Absolutely, and there's so many hills in Branson. So first of all, we were staying at an RPI uh, campground, which was huge. It had, what, five phases in it? Four what phases, they call, yeah. Four phases, four sections, basically. And there was a lot in within, within each section. So just right around there was like right around a city. But we actually took them out and went two or three miles down the road, went to, to, to get some coffee. I wish we would have footage, but we did not have our bike mount for the GoPro. Uh, if anyone's been to Ms. Branson, you know that it's very hilly in that area. Extremely hilly. I mean, we're in the Ozarks. Uh, it's hilly here, right where we're at right now. We're in Horseshoe Bend and on Beaver Lake here in Rogers, Arkansas. So. so we were able to actually put the XP electric bikes to the test and uh, we were not disappointed at all with the battery life or, or anything. The, the big hills, even at um, pedal assist system five, which is the, the most power you're gonna get out of the bike, uh, we were able to still make those steep hills. You're still gonna work out even with <laughs> pedal assist five uh, on those hills. But I mean, that was like, that was an intense It was hill. extreme, yeah. It was an extreme hill. We're not gonna be riding like that. Most of the time no. it's gonna be around the campground. Um, we did buy bike helmets, but I'm gonna be honest and I, I'll take whatever backlash I get. I'm not gonna wear it that often. If motorcyclists can go out and ride their bikes with no helmet, I'm not gonna ride a helmet. I'm not gonna use a helmet with this just because I don't want to. I think it is too cumbersome and it messes up my vision. I don't like. I don't like it. I don't. I just don't like it. So I'm not gonna wear it. Doesn't mean that something's gonna happen to me, but I'm accepting that responsibility that whatever may happen. But we each have our own helmets, and we will observe state and local laws that require belt bike helmets. For example, if we're on a military base, they do require bike helmets. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be the negative Nancy about the stuff. Electric, if you make a better product for your product, different add-on products that are better, to me, go ahead and put them on there because the stock seat that comes with it is absolute trash. We did get used to it before we got our comfort package, but we already ordered that. Um, so if someone's ordering the comfort package, go ahead and put it on the bike as well. But bring in all these boxes out. I mean, you're, I know you already have those 
uh, pre-assembled and they're ready to ship. But yeah, to me, I didn't want that because it's just more trash that we got to get rid of. And it just went into a dumpster. We're not going to keep those horrible seats. And they're brand new seats. You know, we felt bad about you know throwing I them did away, not. but well, <laughs> it was already wasted money because we wasn't ever going to use them. And they're horrible. They're not good. I'm just going to be honest. They're not good. Uh, I didn't like them. Uh, second of all, and this one's for safety. These are my two biggest things that I I think that electric should do. So obviously there's a light on it already and we haven't done no we, we we took them out that's when you almost got mowed down by the deer right uh we took them out at night but i don't like that light it's kind of dim they do make uh, another one that you can put on there if you have a better product already and it's safety related why is that not already on your bike to me that that should be a no-brainer so what if you got to mark it up trying to sell bikes at a price point it's 9.99 it's not like it's that far below a thousand dollars so to me Put the, the better light on there, stock, standard. If that means you gotta raise your price, you're obviously going down to 949 right now with premium, you know, whatever, you can do it before premium accessories. So, why not? Why not already put it on there? And this is not safety related, but if we had a choice, what would you like as far as color? Oh, color, I would like to be able to pick my color of yeah, this is just another thing. If you're going to order, I get it. They already have the boxes. The bikes are in the boxes. They're ready to ship. But if you're ordering, they should allow for some kind of custom ordering, especially if you're on your 2.0 version. You've been in your, an established brand already, and there's plenty of YouTubers out there doing reviews of this bike already, along with Rad and all the other ones. Um, set yourself apart. Let people customize it. Like Our colors for our channel are black and white, and I would really like to have a black and white, not a white you know, a white bike with blue decals. I would like to be able, I would wait a little bit longer for my bike if I could actually select it, uh, select the color that I wanted and just have it shipped like you would order a car, you know? And I believe the step through comes, you can get in both black and white. Our version is only in black, but even if it was black and white that you could choose from and then uh, the color of decals could also make a difference. It could. I mean, that, that's very minute. Like I said, like the things that it still has a light on there, so it's still going to produce some sort of light. It still has a seat on there, even though it's uncomfortable. Uh, you make better things, put them on there, quit trying to just up the price for stuff. That's one thing I don't like. Uh, capitalism at its finest, I guess. But uh, I would pay. I mean, most bikes, even one that's comparable, like the Rad Mini, it's like considerably higher than this bike. So even if you added these other things, you could probably still bring it in around to the same price point. <laughs> my third thing, and this is my nude as well because we knew we were getting foldable bikes. We knew how much they were going to weigh. Uh, but when you do unfold them, they are kind of cumbersome. So just so we don't break anything because it is right at $1,000 to us, that's a big investment, you know, when you're on a modest budget already. Um, so it takes both of us to uh, put them in there, which is not a big thing, it's just, uh, I don't know, make some like, for the handles that unfold the frame, I would like to find something that you can actually put over that handle so it doesn't gouge into stuff. Uh, same way with the handlebar when it comes down, where you can actually have something that's part of the bike that actually... Protects it from yeah, hitting each other when it's folded up. It's used as a buffer, so there's no like paint on paint rubbing or whatever the case may be. Once again, minute. Uh, all in all though, I mean, the battery charge, we charged these batteries when we were up in Michigan. Unfortunately, it rained a lot while we were there. We did ride them a little bit while we were in Frankenmuth, but we didn't get no footage because... Uh, the weather was bad. It was bad. It was overcasty. Um, it wasn't bad when we were riding them, but it was still cold, and nobody wants to try to film in the cold. At least we didn't. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I, would, I, would I buy these again? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Just I would for the sheer fun factor. Uh, the way is considerable i want to say they around 67 pounds 64 pounds somewhere that i have to go back and read i can't really remember and when they're folded when you unfold them they're kind of cumbersome uh we are going to show you how we transport them and then we're possibly we have some things in the work on how we're going when i get rid of the forerunner uh how we're going to transport these bikes in the reflection and we just recently got the totes last week uh the totes i've got a little film footage of the totes that we've got so you can pick up the same exact ones this is the smallest tote that we could find that would fit the bike perfectly so we could squeeze it into the forerunner so one of the questions we get asked is how do we travel with 
uh, our e-bikes. So right now, because we still have the Forerunner, they travel in the Forerunner, and we're gonna show you now how we transport them. So as you can see, we've got two different totes, and these totes work perfectly. We bought these at Lowe's. They are the Commodore storage totes, and they are 40 gallons. Those are the dimensions right there, if I zoom in close enough. And how much were these totes? They were like 32 I wanna say $37. Uh, the one issue that we have, so right now with my Forerunner, the way that we have them in here, we don't have to lay down the, uh, the back seat all the way down to get these in here. We've seen some other people that they use the really long totes. I want to say they're 60 gallon or whatever. 65. 60, 65 gallon. Yeah. But they're really long, which would require me to have to fold down the back. Uh, all I have to do is just unlatch the, the seat on the right. And you can see it in the back. I have Dan flip it around. Back over here, I can also come around. <laughs> just show it by hand. Right here, I just bring it up forward. I'm only looking through the bike. I don't know if you can see me. Uh, Cause it will hit. We had to do this in order to get it in. If not, the back of the tote will hit the uh, the fifth door or your hatchback, whatever the hell you want to call that thing. Um, so this is all we do, and it just kind of floats around right now. But I have other stuff up here that keeps it from mounting around. But for some reason, it's only on the one side that it kind of hits. It doesn't doesn't fit in there tight enough like the other side. We don't know why. I think it's because of the way the speaker's designed or maybe because of the way the back of that one seat is. But that's it. That's pretty much how we uh, have been here recently. We just bought these totes because we didn't really want to get those long ones because I wanted to be able to use my back seat if need be. Uh, so this is what we're doing right now. We do have what we think may work uh, when we start traveling after we sell the Forerunner. Uh, how these are going to be transported in the reflection. Uh, and then when we do that, we'll actually come back with an update, but we want to make sure it works before we go in there and start looking lame. <laughs> but we'll definitely make sure y'all get that. As far as folding, it's real simple. There's only three steps we've got to take. You've got your handlebars, you've got your bike frame, and then you've got your pedals. And we're going to demonstrate each one. So if you need to adjust your handlebars, you can do it with this latch here, adjust it up, or lower it may not need to be adjusted depending on where you store it so this is what it looks like and earlier in the video i mentioned about the chain touching the bottom and sure enough electric bike did address this there is a stand right here on the bottom that protects the chain from actually touching the ground. You have to be careful if you're in grass or in gravel because it won't be as because it's very close to the ground. And by chain, he means the sprocket. The sprocket with the chain. So because for us, $999 is a big investment, close to a thousand, you can hear Ava in there whining, she wants to come out. Uh, you can manhandle this by yourself, but because there's so many different moving parts and it unfolds, we choose to use two of us to do it. Like I said, it's only 67 pounds with the battery in, but we're gonna place it into the tub now using two people because it keeps our stuff safe and ready to use. One thing that would be nice is if there was a strap that could connect the two pieces so it wouldn't fold out while you're moving it. True statement, but you can probably get some cheap Velcro and do it yourself for now. But yes, electric, let's think of something for this so you can bind them together. So if you're only one person, it makes it easier so it doesn't unfold on you. At this point, you need to make sure the pedals are, are pushed in. Push in the pedal and tilt it to the side. You have to do both of them. Now it's ready to go into the tote. <laughs> right? Much better. Now using this particular tote, we actually have the frame within the outside boundaries or outside dimensions of the tote itself. However, the one lever that's used to close it has free play in it so it doesn't stay in a stationary position. On the handlebar side of the tote, I don't know if you can see it, but it is extending the side of the tote maybe two inches. So you're gonna have to keep that in mind. If we were fully to retract the handlebar, it might fit in better. Let's see if that does work. Okay. All right, actually that works better. 
so what we did is we fully retracted the handlebars in the post and now it actually fits within the confines of the toad itself i did like on the 2.0 like on the right below the seat where they have a handle it does help you maneuver the bike uh, definitely like the pedal assist and i highly encourage when you're first learning how to ride it because it's, the wheels are kind of small don't try to turn t sharp you may end up flipping over the handlebars it didn't happen to us but it almost happened to me because the wheels are a lot smaller so they're going to kind of throw you off a little bit uh it's heavy now with the fenders that are on there the mud guards whatever you want to call them over the tires uh they rattle you know they rattle quite a bit but i mean when something's folding in three pieces i mean it's to be expected that it's going to happen but we're trying to give you the details so if that is the kind of or the type of thing that annoys you uh i definitely would not get these bikes or i would take those off when you get them which i'm sure you could uh we're gonna leave them on because i don't want mud flung all over my back right <laughs> So now onto the things we like. I do like the color that this one is in. I don't really care for the lighter blue decals. Uh, I like the comfort package seat. Uh, it, it's a lot more good. If you got a wide butt, you're definitely gonna want this. It's got like air ride suspension. It's, it's very springy. There's definitely some aftermarket seats that other people have put on there uh, as well. We do got our locks up the front, but I think I'm gonna switch that to below the seat as well. Um, the tires are beefier. Uh, and we've rode them all in all kinds of terrain. We haven't really rode them in rain because it's really not recommended, nor would we want to, because once again, it's an investment. We don't want to ruin them. This campground actually has a lot of debris on some of the roads, so uh, it's hard to avoid it. And so I'm glad that they are beefy, so we can get over the, the, the wood and the, the leaves and stones and everything. Everything's accessible, so when you're switching your gears, uh, I think that's easy. I think mm -hmm. that's accessible, uh, easily accessible from your hand where the throttle is at. I do recommend if you're taking off on a hill because it takes a couple of revolutions before the power assist or pedal assist is going to kick in. So if we're taking off on a hill like we did when we were in Branson, uh, I just use the throttle to take off because it will go. And if you're not ready for it, uh, be careful why, if you're filming, <laughs> if you are filming with one hand, and you start to pedal, it's going to kick in. It'll it'll jerk you, so you be prepared for that as well. That's just a safety tip because you can damn near eat the concrete if uh, if you're not prepared for that. The pedal so it's usually it's like two revolutions with the pedal. So if you're starting off on a hill, you're going to have to really crank it, and then it's going to kick in a little bit. So I just use the throttle because it goes. I think the throttle is already at a five when you use it. I don't think that if you have your pedal assist set to like two or three, and then you go to use a throttle. The throttle will still increase past that so i think it's already dialed up to a five if you're going to use it which comes in handy i think this this bike is in so much fun so much fun oh, we definitely. opted not to do an unpacking video because there's so many people that have done unpacking videos when you get your stuff in when your bike comes in i don't know why they do this because it was on both our bikes one wheel had the cap on they only put like 10 pounds of pressure in there right right yeah, you've got to remember to inflate your tires before you use them. Yes, and I think maybe that's why they kept it about how to find it in the bottom of the box. And one wheel did not have it. So definitely if you look over your bike when you first get it, make sure it has everything that you think it should have. Um, and def I mean, definitely look for it. If it's not in there, it's in the box somewhere. If not, definitely call Electric. Uh, those guys, I've seen them on other people's YouTube videos, and they seem like they're very... They've got great customer service because I've had to deal with them a few times when we had the seat lost. And because we were constantly moving, they had to deliver it to one destination that we we're going to be at for a short period of time. And the customer representative, and I don't remember his name, was um, guaranteed me that, that time and was able to make it happen for us. But, but, go. but uh, one thing I would say is if you purchase the bike, the basic bike itself, before you buy any accessories through electric look at different options you can get on the electric facebook groups and a lot of people are talking about the different um, accessories that they're purchasing whether it be a phone carrier whether it be a different headlight that are a lot cheaper than the electric versions yes had we had done that before which is weird because normally we really do we watch so many videos on this bike though so we thought we we had done a decent amount of research but had I known about the seat before we ordered these, we would not have gotten these seats. We would have got 
some people are saying you can get the same comfort from like a $29 one at Walmart. Walmart. And you know, maybe that original seat, if it keeps the price down, might be good for some people that want it. But if you're already ordering the comfort package with the bike, why don't you decrease the amount of the comfort package by not shipping the standard seat with it? I guess exactly. is my point. Exactly. No reason we, to have two. Because all we did was waste money and we ended up throwing, mm -hmm. a, throwing those away in a dumpster because they're just not comfortable. I didn't think they were comfortable. But I, I think it's definitely going to be a good addition to our RV lifestyle. Uh, if we would have had these, and I'm, this is what I kick myself in the back, because this thing is so much fun. Electric, I know we're throwing out a lot of negative, but this bike is so much fun. And for the price point compared to other people, I would say put the seat on there and put the headlight on there. You're good to go. So things I wish, and once again, I know this is for electric putting it at their price point. I don't, I don't know if anybody does that because I haven't really done that much research. But I would like to see something where you pedal it it would recharge the battery. So, the technology's gotta be out there somewhere. If not, maybe electric, you can, you can yeah. go ahead and spearhead that. But that would be really cool. But that's just like wishful thinking. And I don't know if that would, uh, like because there's only so many charges per the battery that I don't know if you constantly kept it in a state of charge, if it would decrease the life of the battery. I don't know enough about batteries in general to, to make that assumption. And maybe that's why, because nobody's doing it as far as I can see. And if Electric knows that, why don't you go ahead and comment down below and let us know. Um, we don't want to misrepresent you at all. In fact, we really love Electric. We love our e-bikes that we've got. In fact, coming up in just a few months, we're going to be headed out to Arizona, and we are going to drop by and see you. We will, especially if we haven't got our damn baskets yet. <laughs> you will see more videos with us in this, uh, riding these bikes. Uh, it definitely would have came handy in Maine. Oh, definitely. So we're going to have to make On the non-raining days. And if you've well, ever yeah. been to Maine, you know it's going to rain. <laughs> it's going to rain there. But we'll have to make another trip up to Maine. Just oh, yeah, so we didn't get to see it enough bikes. anyway. But, yeah, Ogunquit area, I definitely mm. highly recommend. If you've got something, if you're going to the Wells, Ogunquit area, these bikes make it so much easier. So, all in all, I would probably give this thing an 8 out of 10 just because, I, well, maybe 9 out of 10 because the seat, hit, hit or miss, yeah, some people may like the stock seat. But the headlight, if you make a headlight that's brighter and better, it should be stock standard. Anytime you come up with a new something that's better, it should go into production as part of the bike and you mark it up and that's why you should. Because to me, that's safety related. That's safety related, even though it doesn't really bother me that much, it may bother other people. And who knows, Electric may take this information and make it 3.0 or... Sorry, we had to interrupt real quick because we had to switch cameras to GoPro 10, got a little hot. So that was our first time using it. So <laughs> we have now switched to the GoPro 8. I don't know where we're left off. All in all, I would say this bike is definitely, especially with the new deal right now, the new the, well, the sell, holiday deal, the yeah. holiday deal they got going on for 949. Now, what I don't know, and maybe you can give me that, probably look for it in your phone, is if shipping is included in that price. Okay, it does show that it's free shipping, fast free shipping. Arrives fully assembled. Which it does, it absolutely does. You're gonna have to put air in it though. They'll, they'll come with the tires. Uh, the tires will not be inflated to where they need to be. And it comes with one year warranty. So if you like this video, can you do us a favor? Go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, it's totally free. And hit that little bell icon so you can get notified when we do drop a new video. In your comments, even if you don't like this, leave us a nasty comment if that's the case. I mean, if we're just missing the mark totally, Tell us in the comments below. We like negative stuff. I'd like to know what people's thoughts are on bike helmets. Oh, absolutely. Do you wear them? Do you not wear them? When do you wear them? So, until the next video. Where will the road take you? It's going to take us back over to our RV, which is over there. Way over there. On those bikes that we just talked about. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights